Okay, continuing the topic of uh, somewhat sketchy things, right? High school right, esports right. might sketch you out. So here's what sketched some people out out there: mm -hmm. the possibility of franchised uh, esports leagues. Yeah. So you know, I'm we, also sketched out. By yeah, because we've always uh -huh. talked about the esports bubble. We talk about, of course, the most upcoming one, that yeah. being Call of Duty World League mm -hmm. or Call of Duty League. That's mm -hmm. their franchise. We got Overwatch established. We got League right. of Legends established, but we don't know longevity-wise if it's a good call for esports or mm. all. You know, obviously some esports probably attune to it better than others. Right. And so now uh, the the question is, we actually have uh, other games out there speaking out, or at least developers about, hey, we don't want that. So mm -hmm. Valve has actually made a huge statement with their yeah. last CS:GO blog again, probably about four to five days late for all of you guys watching right now, but a huge announcement because. We actually had in the past uh, few weeks, we had huge franchise or semi semi exclusive leagues announced for CSGO. Mm -hmm. One was called Blast Premier, the other was ESL Pro Tour. Mm -hmm. They were both announcing several events for some exclusive teams out there to get invites to. Right, right. They would compete, and there was each league had four plus million dollars in prize pools. So, mm -hmm. giant announcement for CSGO. Mm -hmm. no, now, big, big. now, just days later, Valve has come out in a huge post, uh -huh. which they addressed several problems. One of the problems they said was, hey, we think exclusivity might be bad for the long term, so no, we're not going to give you the right to operate our game if you're going to make teams exclusive. Good on Valve. Right? Yo, like, Valve... We Making don't. The right we don't call. often say good yeah, job, Valve. Honestly, like very rarely. Yeah. That 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 phrase comes out of my mouth about once every decade. Yeah, and they had a <laughs> they had a really good Dota two update this week as well, mm -hmm. and now this mm -hmm. post, and it, it just makes you wonder. Like, okay, hey, good for you, but the question I, I bounce to you, Zan, why do you think someone like Valve can afford then? Because it seems like mm -hmm. for the major esports, people are going towards these franchise buy in, so we can make some money leagues. Right. Right. Why can Valve afford to maybe not do that, or why would they not want? Is exclusivity. Only, obviously, Valve has like all the money in the world. They own Steam. They own Dota. Like, don't they own Dota? Yeah, right? yeah, they yeah, run. yeah. Do they? They own CS:GO at this point. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They operate both. Right. Like so, not to mention like them taking a cut of like so much other nonsense off of Steam. Like, what is Valve doesn't have to worry about yeah. getting a piece of the pie. And I've heard also the debate as well because they're in the FPS drama. Uh, <laughs> FPS scene, sorry, uh -huh. used to say in drama a lot this week. <laughs> um, they're in the FPS scene with really no competition at their level. Right, you have Rainbow not. Six, which is growing for sure, mm -hmm. but the, no Still one, not even close though. Yeah, and no one's doing what CS:GO does in their mm -hmm. game genre. Is what I probably meant to say earlier, and so maybe that's also why they don't mm -hmm. need to. Right. Um, and but it's also it's very weird to compare these two outliers or these two big companies in Valve and Blizzard because it seems like Blizzard with Overwatch and now Call of Duty, mm -hmm. they're like, yo, let's cash in right now. Yep. To be honest, Blizzard probably doesn't need to either. Yeah, they don't. Uh, that's it's Blizzard weird. They don't need the money either. They, Blizzard, Activision. I feel like people forget these are some greedy, greedy, greedy companies. These are a loot box supply like, drop. Capital companies. G, greedy. Yeah. Like, so it's it's very strange to see. Uh -huh. they, I I almost respect Valve even more that we we say that mm. they are waiting out the long term game. Right. And meanwhile, we have Blizzard who is really betting on franchises being the big mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And if they're not, you're going to have a lot of teams and organizations pretty mad at Activision for saying they needed to buy in. Right. And a lot of people, a lot of investors mad too. Because yeah. imagine like all the people who put $25 million potentially. And then if it, if it freaking breaks, Zan, you know who's not coming back to esports Win. to invest? <laughs> all of those freaking yeah. people. Right, right. Uh, but either way, a, a mm -hmm. short announcement. I, it's very strange, but also very cool to see Valve. There is. Like ESL, DreamHack, mm -hmm. and Blast mm -hmm. Pro are, are big organizers. Right. And Valve was like, yeah, we see what you're doing. We like it. You're giving us a lot of money for the scene to grow, but mm -hmm. no thanks. Yeah. Let which everyone participate, which I is do, great. I do actually appreciate I think this is one of my favorite things about esports versus standard sports. For standard sports, like I imagine there's no way somebody could just be like, yeah, we're, we're in charge of everything. Nah. Yeah, but no. here just Valve can just be like, yeah, but no though. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's weird. Yeah. They have uh -huh. all of the rights. Yeah, they have all to the their power. game. You know, mm -hmm. it's rare to see in traditional sports, right. one sole company has all the rights mm -hmm. to one entire sport. <laughs> I don't know if you can. There's a crossover there, but right, uh, yeah. yeah, respect to you, Valve. We'll see what they uh, announce next.